Hello friends, in this part we will discuss, how to validate dynamic form data, and submit dynamic form data to server using Ajax with jQuery. In previous, part we have seen how to remove table row by click on button, and how to fill dynamic subcategory select box, by selecting category from dynamic select box, using Ajax with PHP. Now we have proceed for validate dynamic form data, so here we have write dollar with form id insert form, with on method and under this we have write submit event, so when we have click on submit button, then code will execute. Under this, first we have write event dot prevent default method, this method will prevent to submit form data. Below this, we have define one error variable is equal to blank value, under this variable we will store error messages. First we want to validate that, all item name text box has been filled or not, so we have write dollar with text box class item name with each method, this method will check all text box with class item name. Under this, we have define one count variable is equal to one, we will increment value of this variable, and we will use this variable value to display error on particular row. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with value method is equal to blank value. This code will check particular text box has some value or not. If text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Suppose text box has no value, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write error variable, and in this we have append error message like enter item name at particular row, and row value get from count variable. And lastly in this block, we have write count variable is equal to count variable plus one, here we have increase count variable value by one on every interval. Now we want to check, user has select item category or not, so we have write dollar with select box class item category with each method, this method will check all select box with class item category. Under this, we have define one count variable is equal to one, we will increment value of this variable, and we will use this variable value to display error on particular row. After this we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar this with value method is equal to blank value. This code will check user has select category from select box or not. If select box has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Suppose item category select box has no value, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write error variable. And in this, we have append error message like enter select item category at particular row, and row value get from count variable. And lastly in this block, we have write count variable is equal to count variable plus one, here we have increment count variable by one on every interval. Lastly we want to check, user has select item subcategory or not, so we have write dollar with select box class item subcategory with each method, 
This method will check all select box with class item subcategory. Under this, we have defined one count variable is equal to one, we will increment value of this variable, and we will use this variable value to display error on particular row. After this we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar this with value method is equal to blank value. This code will check user has select subcategory from select box or not. If select box has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Suppose item subcategory select box has no value, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write error variable. And in this, we have append error message like enter select item subcategory at particular row, and row value get from count variable. And lastly in this block, we have write count variable is equal to count variable plus one, here we have increment count variable by one on every interval. After validate form field, so now we have defined one form data variable is equal to dollar this with serialize method, this method will convert form data into URL encoded string. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write error variable is equal to blank value, this condition will check if this variable has no value, then it will execute if block of code otherwise, it will execute else block of code. Suppose error variable has some value, that means there is some validation error, we want stop to submit form, and display error message, so for display error message here we have defined one span tag with attribute id is equal to error. For display error variable value under this span tag, so we have write dollar with span tag id error with html method, and under this method we have write error variable value. This code will display error under the span tag id error. But suppose error variable value is blank, then it will execute if block of code and under this block, we have write ajax request for submit form data to server. So in Ajax request, we have write first option URL set to insert.php, here we have send request to this page. In second option, we have write method, and in this we have write post, so here we have use post method for send form data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and in this option, we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write form data variable in which we have store form data. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data variable value is equal to OK, if his condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, first we want to remove all table row except table header row, so we have write dollar with table ID item table with find method. And under this we have write table row tag zero index with remove method. This code will remove all table row from item table except table header row. Lastly for display success message, 
So here we have write dollar with span tag ID error with HTML method, and under this we have write item details saved method. This message will be display after successfully item details insert into table. Now we have moved to write PHP code for insert data into items table, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post item name variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block. Under this block, first we want to make database connection, so here we have write include statement, with database connection.php file, it will make database connection. After this, we have write loop, and under condition, we have write dollar count variable is equal to zero, dollar count variable value less than value of count function, with dollar post item name variable, and dollar count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon item name, with value like dollar post item name variable with dollar count variable index. In second key, we have write double colon item category ID, with value like dollar post item category variable, with dollar count variable index. In third key, we have write double colon item subcategory ID, with value like dollar post item subcategory variable, with count variable index. Now we have write, dollar query variable is equal to, insert into items table, with table column like item name, item category ID, item subcategory ID with values like double colon item name, double colon item category ID, double colon item subcategory ID. This insert query will insert data into table. After this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under condition we have write dollar query variable. This statement will make query for execution, and for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this we have write dollar data variable. Lastly, we have write echo statement with message like OK it will send response to Ajax request. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and here we have already seen how can we have add dynamic input fields, and how can we remove dynamic input fields. We have also seen, how can we fill dynamic dependent subcategory select box with data after selecting value from dynamic category select box? Now we want to check how to insert multiple data of dynamic input field using Ajax with PHP. So here we have click on add button and one blank row has been add in table. Now we have directly click on submit button without fill data in input field. After click on submit button, here on web page we can see error message. So here our validation code working properly. Now we have enter item name details. After this, we have select category from category select box, after selecting category select box, then subcategory has been filled with data, 
so we have select subcategory. Now we want to add one more item details, so we have click on add button, and filled item details like item name, category, and subcategory details. Now we have click on insert button. After click on insert button, we have received success message on web page, that means multiple data has been successfully insert in database. So, in this series we have seen, how to add or remove dynamic dependent select box data, and insert multiple data into table using Ajax with PHP script. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.